Greetings, hi, the War Al greets you, and I'm going to be showing you here once again another 5 versus 5 professional Counter-Strike Global Defensive match between Envious and the Ninjas in Pajamas here on DE Dust 2. This is from the Counter-Strike Global Defensive Championship Series Season Kickoff Finals. That was a mouthful right there. And it is on Dust 2. This is actually the second game of a best of three series between these two teams. Game number one did go, spoiler alert, to Envious. And this is game number two on Dust2. I've had a lot of requests to cast this specific matchup right here. All right, and we see Ninjas in Pajamas doing a little bit of a modified around the world strategy. They push through B tunnels. Move look like they're gonna be going short right now. Two players here from Envious did push through short, or push through B to get to lower tunnels here in order to get behind them. We have Ninjas in Pajamas completely surrounded here, trying to take bombsite A. Seems like they're in a really bad position right now. Freiburg trying to survive. Got players coming in from all sides. And it's just Exist left who was the solo player from Long A. Now has to take on one versus two at Long A. Put his burst fire on like he was going to do a jumping burst fire over the top of that thing right there. Which is, you know, that's possible, but I don't think it's going to happen. 16 health left. One hit from death and Exist finally does go down. So round number one goes to Envious. Thanks to their aggressive CT side play. They do this a lot on CT side. And that is, and you got to watch out for this from Envious. They push into tunnels and if it's clear they'll push down right here at lower B two players usually will do that leaving one player over on this side and what this is, is it cuts off this entire part of the map from the T's allows them to say all right they are going to be going a side in some respect and they'll probably just sit in that position and, and deal with it whenever it happens that way they can have a very quick rotate from behind the players when they finally decide to push at short second round buy up here and we're actually going to be rotating their players over at middle in case they push out mid. But it is going to be a split A. Okay, they're going CT spawn to help watch at short. Players trying to move out at long A, but it's not happening. Here are the players pushing at short. A disaster as well. Looks like Get Right sneaking up from behind as always. Unfortunately, not able to get the kill there with his uh, balance. Nice little contour thingy. And we have Forrest, the last player left. One versus three. The Pistol King already killed two players with nice headshots with the CZ. Down to six ammo left right now. Grabs that bomb. One minute left. Plenty of time to get over to bombsite B. He's going for an ace right now on pistol round with a CZ. Six ammo left in this thing. I don't know if he's going to be able to pull this off. Both players are going to be chilling here inside of A. They think he's going to rotate right now. 45 seconds. It looks like he's going to wait and then come back into the site. We see Happy waiting for him there at 19 health. Happy gets the headshot. Forrest goes down and Team Envious wins round number two. But it was a close round. That was interesting. Of course, you have to rely on Forrest to get the ace. Now, Ninjas in Pajamas, a lot of times, and we just watch these guys on this channel play Dust 2. A lot of times, Ninjas in Pajamas is going to rely on their players to do incredible things, to do clutches, to do aces, and that sort of stuff. And they've always done that. And I think they're reaching a point right now where they really need to play more as a team and rely on everybody instead of just putting the key players into those clutch situations. And it definitely worked out for Ninjas in Pajamas early on in their career, where they established the standard play for the game. And they were the team to beat. Alright, well they are finally able to kill Shocks, but we actually have Happy pushing in from the other side. Alu did hear it there, he's right above him. Waiting for him at the Heaton box. And takes him out. Oh, Happy does trade, that's actually going to give him a weapon, that's pretty bad. Smith's moving in. Ooh, now just get right left. They've done a lot of damage on this full eco. And let's see if Get Right can do any more. Going to be trying to get this FAMAS. Two players left. Probably not going to be a win for Ninjas and Pajamas, but this is one of these clutch situations we talked about. Get Right here has got to get a four frag for the win. And gets taken down by NBK. Couldn't really have expected it to go on either way, but... I mean, that was a really good round for a save. I mean, they could have actually grabbed those weapons and fallen back and just saved them for the next round. Apparently there is a Reddit community night going on. I have, you know, I have my online turned to offline. I'm not online right now, but those things pop up anyway. Alu going to be opping at mid. Counts one for the cross. I don't know if you saw the second guy because of the hand grenade explosion. That's something a lot of players do. Instead of wasting a smoke earlier on to cross at middle, they'll throw a hand grenade down there, and the dust from the hand grenade makes it difficult to see. We do have a smoke at middle there, but that was thrown from the T side. We can tell by where it landed. Flash up at short, perfectly thrown. T's take that mid control, they have two players. Nice little uh, setup here. If a player turns the corner, they have to take out two players to make anything happen. Probably gonna end up in a trade or just an outright death for the T. I don't think they're gonna peek there. Gonna push out at mid. Happy boosted up on top of the box and CT spawn. 
No, they're going to fall back a little bit. Maybe try to force a little bit of a rotate. It's not going to happen. Trying to pick one of those positions. Ninjas in pajamas, 55 seconds. Still staying at middle right now. Now deciding to push out mid. Exist is going to peek this corner. And happy sees him. Going to drop down, and now it's up to Freiburg. Oh, takes the flash. Happy not going to peek him, though. Two players B, so Envious is doing the 2-1-2. Two, two, which is two players B, one mid, and then two playing inside of A. And we see one watching short right now with the off. This is a great spot to watch it. That's like the standard. And one at long, just in case they try to push it. MBK playing the lurk on CT side. MBK is moving through right now to get behind them. Let's see if he can make it happen before they push out. Defensive Molotov to prevent a player from sneaking up from behind him. He does catch him off guard. And Kyoshima. Oh, go oh man. Kyoshima makes a mistake there, and that might cost them the round. Could have been able to pick get right. Now puts it into a two versus three for the retake. Not an easy retake. Smokes go down. Alu is watching that. Smith walks right into it. Just MBK. One versus three. And he's probably going to go for exits right now. So that is killing players as they exit the site to just try to do a little bit of extra economic damage to them. Because he knows he's not going to win this round. Peeking there is probably a mistake. Oh, he's going to run in and try to hit these players as they're exiting. This is neat. Let's see if he can get them at, at middle here. Bomb's going off pretty soon. Looks like he's definitely going off with it, but he wants to take down as many as he can with him. There's one, and that's all he's going to get. Bomb will go off. Both of those players very low, so that was an opportunity to do some damage. And I think his teammates did call that and said, yeah, they're low. You can probably move in there, do a little bit of economic damage. We're going to save next round anyway. And what they're doing right now is buying up enough so that, or just enough so that they're going to be able to buy next round no matter what happens. We have NBK with the scout. I think he's going to boost himself up on Happy. Here he goes. Go for the pick at sh at probably lower B. No, he's going to watch short. There is a player at lower B, though. Exist. He's going to peek it pretty soon. He can get this. He can get this shot. No, Exist playing it super safe. One player pushing through the tunnels. That is Shocks. Now the battle is happening. NBK does hit him. Shocks moving in from the other side. Exist has players on both sides of him. If he try crosses that threshold, though, he is dead. MBK is still doing his jump scouting right now. You can shoot a perfectly accurate shot with the scout when you're at the top elevation. All right, Forrest is going to sneak in here on shocks. Take him down easy peasy lemon squeezy. In Counter-Strike, never put yourself in a fair fight. Always try to get the drop on your opponent. It's much easier than having to outshoot them. And Kiyoshima trying to go for Dem1 digs. A really cool looking deagle there. Oh, got it on Freiburg. Nice shot. And there's another one on Alu. Let's see if he can get another. Oh, he's going to get Molotov. We'll just have to fall back and can continue this. He actually has one player down really low. And another kill from NBK. This could be an eco win. Happy's having none of this. Sneaking around the other side here. And he's going to get it. Oh, no. He misses the shot. We have to have Get Right pushed down middle right now. This is crazy. Exist knows he's got players on both sides. He grabs that bomb, 17 seconds left. One versus four now on an anti-eco with 20 health left. This is a disaster for the ninjas in pajamas and gets taken down. Envious is on fire now. Now, it was kind of weird that ninjas in pajamas, or I'm sorry, that Envious had to save after losing one round. Uh, coming off of winning three in a row. But that was just because of how close these rounds have been. And Ninjas in Pajamas has been doing that economic damage. However, they're, that, that just worked out perfectly for them. Thanks to Kiyoshima's opping. Alright, smoke going down there at long. It'll allow him to get to pit. Still using this scout. We actually have an op here on Smiths to watch short. T's take mid control. And nobody's even watching that. Check this out. There's nobody watching mid. Nobody at CT. Happy moving back. Nobody at uh, middle. Kyoshima is going to move out there if anything happens, though. But I think they're just going to push at short. So it is time to watch some opping. This is the moment that defines an opper. Well, if they decide to push. I think he's just going to smoke it off. They have to delay. They could push through that, but... Nah, it's not going to happen. They're still chill. Oh, here they go. Smith takes one. And they're going to fall back. They're not having any of that. Instead, they're pushing out middle right now on the save round. And just get immediately evaporated. That, again, was like Marines running into main lanes there. It just did not happen. NVS at five points now, well ahead of the ninjas in pajamas. Looking like they want to close this close this series out 2-0. Quickly. Just pull it off like a band-aid. Make it happen. Ninjas in pajamas is gonna be saving here. Exists throwing an interesting smoke. Let's see where it lands. It's gonna be an Xbox smoke. 
That was a nice way to do it. Difficult to make happen. And here they go again. Envy is pushing through tunnels like we talked about. Are going to get the pick. Get both of them. Nice. Shocks and Kiyoshima. And that's going to be a win round there for Envious. Picking two players like that, that that early, it's so difficult to recover from. Get right using his um, his nephew's nerf gun, it appears. Oh no, grabbing a real weapon now. He's got a wheel gun. And looking like they're going to push into Bombsite B. So here's Shocks with 9 health left. They have a nade. If they can land a nade back here, which it's a place you can't... Oh, nice pick by Exist. No, they're going to fall back. Alu making sure they're not pushing in from behind. We have Get Right watching short. And yeah, ninjas in pajamas. Not a lot of time left, but they got one pick. They need to get some more picks to even it up and give themselves a chance at winning. But the timer is ticking down. They don't have a lot of chances here. Allo moving through here in case the CT pushed in from behind. But now Envious is backed off. They're playing it a little bit more safe. Not overextending themselves. We see them just watching long, watching short, watching mid, and watching at B here. Here's Shocks. Oh, Shocks knows. Let's see if they get the nade. Oh no, the nade has already been thrown. Never mind. Nine health left. Get right gets into the site though, but shocks with an expert aim. Takes him down, and there's the final kill. Look at that burst fire, back and forth movement. That was some textbook shooting right there. If you want to learn how to play, just watch that. And here is ninjas in pajamas. They have to save once again, falling further and further behind. It is looking bleak for the Swedish team. And they leave the site. Where are they going to be going this round? What do you do on an eco T-side dust 2? These are always the difficult questions. Envious still staying with this 2-1-2. Seems to be working out pretty well. Why modify it now? Happy watching at mid. I think they're just going to charge out mid here. Kiyoshima has the other position, so they have a crossfire. Ooh, just mowing them down. Kiyoshima's turn. Nope, they fall back from that. Did they get the gun? No, they didn't get the gun. They could nade the gun over to them. <laughs> the teammate almost did that there. Or did he use, Did he throw that? No, no, no. Here's the gun. It is way out of reach. They're going to be pushing at long right now. NBK watching this with the scout. Scout, not an effective weapon. He could get punished for using it. Pulls out the P250, and yeah, he does. I'm surprised he hasn't upgraded yet. Two players moving in with their tech nines. No armor. Nice kill. Now just Alu left. He grabbed the scout. He's in the pit. You can do jump scouts out of there. It's difficult to deal with. 44 seconds left, and instead he's going to fall back and try to get to bombsite B. Shocks is moving to intercept at middle. Could be creeping down middle. Could be anywhere right now. They don't know, so they have to spread themselves out. Leave one player at A just in case. That's Kyoshima and Shocks to go intercept. Now let's see if Shocks hears Alu as he moves through tunnels. That's going to be a no. So Alu will be able to get this bomb planted. Nobody's watching right here. He can just jump right by, plant in the standard plant position, and Envious is going to have to do the retake. All right, so they know now. Shox is moving through the tunnels. Should wait for Kiyoshima. At least he can peek it a little bit. Kiyoshima is now moving in. We'll get the intel of where he is, and then Shox will push. So he sees the player in the tunnel. Now Shox will push and take it. There's some teamwork right there from Envious. Defuse will be happening. Easy pickup. However, that bomb plant from Ninjas in Pajamas giving them a little bit of extra money. They took out three players. Another economy round from the Ninjas in Pajamas. That evened up the eco, and they did a good job with that. However, check it out. Running further and further ahead economically here. Envious, look at all that money. Money, money, money. Yes, I'm going to reference Killing Floor again in this video, just like the last video. All right. Alu going to be peeking at long. He's got the spawn for it. We'll see if he gets it. Does not. Nice attempt. Good timing. Just a little bit off. Couldn't really hope to do anything else. Just got it. Had to get lucky there in the hit. All right. Ninjas in pajamas have the map control. Of course, does too. A map that gives full map control here to the T's at the very start. They can do anything they want with that. And the CTs have to move all the way around this exterior part. All right, here's Freiburg creeping up short, going for the entry kill. Happy inside of the site. Normally want to play this with an AWP. Here he is. Smith's in position. This is going to be hard to push. Normally they only leave like one player there. Oh, NVK takes two headshots. You can see him flinch, man. Now that was some... Uh, he actually got hit in the head, both of those hits. Oh, wait, he's actually... Like, look at his health right now, 43. What? Did that just happen? 
Forest gets a ridiculous shot through the smoke into B. Like we saw we saw the aim punch happen was the thing. Wow. So they meant to trade into Kyoshima to take the site, but Kyoshima just took down two people by himself. Incredible display of skill. Just he look at that, just stared at the flash. That's like staring at explosions as they go off, or not staring at them. CT's gonna move and retake this site. Four versus three here. Anyone's game. Breaching now, good flashes. T's are falling, Bomb is planted into position for Alu to watch it. He falls back, 22 health left. All right, this is a difficult position for Happy. He's gotta hope that Alu peeks him. Alu listening for the Bomb to fuse. There's not enough time, he has to fake it. Oh, he's not going to stick it. Alu, the patience has paid off. And this will be a win for the ninjas in pajamas, but just barely. And that is the strength of just playing the bomb and playing it smart by picking those players, by getting both of them and putting it into a one versus one. Alu was in the position where he could win that easily just by playing the bomb. Listening, if he was defusing, you have to peek him, fall back. Nice. Now, Happy, one of the smartest, if not the smartest players in the game, Got outsmarted there, or just got in a bad position he couldn't get out of. Oh, look at that. Ninjas in Pajamas knows what's up. Gonna prenade at the tunnels where Envious likes to peek and likes to push. This feels like a they're gonna charge us round. And it is one of those rounds. See how aggressive they're being here. T's at middle right now. They're just chilling. They got Freiburg up at short. Freiburg likes to peek it, take control of it, check the positions. Nobody's there. It's all safe. All's quiet. And it looks like he's going to try to peek a little bit further. Smith's watching this with the AWP. Smoking it off, so he's not going to push through that. And happy watching CT spawn. Envious continuing with this 2-1-2. So how do you abuse the 2-1-2? They're, they're doubling up here at long, or, or at short A. Oh, Freiburg jumps down into CT spawn. That's a really nice position. This will allow the mid to B to happen right here. I love this strat, by the way. Done a strat talk on it before. Shox standing right on the other end of this smoke. Shox does that a lot. However, gets taken down from the other position. T's not pushing until their mid players come through. Three versus five for the retake, and the strat worked out. Nip sat there and thought, all right, how do we do this? How do we abuse the play that Envious is doing, putting two players inside of B and then two players watching short? It was the mid to B with a player jumping down into CT spawn. Worked out perfectly for them. They kind of expected a player to be CT, though. All right, CT's just going to watch for exits and save. However, T's are all going to be exiting here into the spawn. NBK, the, pl the player to watch it. Let's see if he can be seen around the corner. Nope. And are they going to escape with all five players? A significant victory for the ninjas in pajamas. <laughs> Every single one of them survived, and they got a bomb to go off. They have a bunch of money. They have a bunch of guns. They could come back and win this thing, really, on this half. Look at this. Envious at seven right now. If they won every other round, they'd be at the quota of eight. Now, you want to be shooting for about eight points on T side. Does two. It's a slightly terrorist-sided map because it gives map control to the terrorists and they get to make the decisions about where they go, you know? CTs don't get that much intel about what's going on. Smith's missing the shot. In some trouble. Molotov against Molotov there. Oh, exist! In the Molotov. Forces him back. But he's still gonna get the kill as he's running through that Molotov. Now the Molotov was to force that player to run out of blue so he could just watch it. Surprised he couldn't get it. Kyoshima. Oh, look at this. We actually have a player from behind. This is Forrest. He's gonna try to sneak up from behind NBK. Does catch him off guard. Thanks to some good coordination from the ninjas in pajamas. Just Kyoshima left. He's gonna try to escape. Does a jumping M4 shot. I don't know what the point of that was. If he just stood there and pre-shot that corner, I mean, he probably would've gotten the kill. May have been a mistake. Now we're going to be... Oh, look at this. Actually, Freiburg has zero kills so far. It is round 12. Freiburg has killed nobody. Of course, as we say, it is the entry fragger's job to die. And he's been dying... He's been dying very well this game. 
Now, if you watch enough Counter-Strike, you can figure out the patterns. Here's Freiburg's pattern. He runs down suicide, and then he tries to clear short. And then if they push short, he'll entry. If not, he'll fall back and play more of a support style. Seems to be switching it up a little bit here, watching that middle. We have a player up at short right now. He needs somebody at lower B to help with this. Oh, Shocks just got another one of these. It is an eco from Envious. Armor Deagle bought from Shocks, and he gets one of those kills. We have the jump scouting from MBK. Hey, this worked before. Look at this. They're using their strength. They're leveraging their strengths. And that was, we did the jump, um, the jump scouting at short A. It worked out. We did the deagling from B on Shocks. It worked out. Let's do those on the eco and see if we can win another. And MBK takes another kill. This time, Freiburg is now dead. And there gets another one. Envious looking like they're going to win another eco here. It's a three versus two. Exist and get right left. Taking top mid. Shocks pushed in lower. I want to see some more one digs. Here he comes. Both players at full health, so he's got to get the one dig here. Oh, he's going to smoke him off. Go ahead. Is he pushing through that? No, he's not. He's going to play it safe. Here's happy. Going to get Molotov off. Again, running through the Molotov and surviving. Just exist left. NBK could do jump, bleh, jump scouting. There it is! That's a body shot, but I'm okay with it. Shocks with a two frag with the deagle that round, and NBK two frag with the scout. Another eco win from Envious. Ninjas in pajamas. They are, you know, they're not playing very well against uh, our anti eco. To get that many players picked like that. And it seems like the ninjas in pajamas go to eco strat is to try to pick at B. And they've been getting punished for that. All right, here's the lovely boost. Gonna get happy up here to watch Xbox and short A. Over the top of the smoke, this is a standard play. Freiburg, if he jumps up there, will die. Has Freiburg got a kill yet? I think that's the question on everybody's minds. Don't jump up there, Freiburg! And Freiburg goes down. We actually had a team team hit there. Oh, did that not hit him? Okay, uh, yeah, that didn't hit him. Oh, NBK at short with the scout. Goes down to an aggressive peak op by Alu. Happy has intel on get right inside of the pit. Gonna hide behind the box because of it. Smith's pushing forward, the smoke is down. Get right now starting to push from long A. He's got a good angle on these players. Kyoshima knows what's going on though. Gonna try to help him out. Knows he has Happy stuck behind that box though. T's still at short A, Smith is up close. Could get the mow down here, gets taken down. Now get right starting to move in. Sees his gun sticking out. Alu takes some good entry kills from Alu. He's making up for it here. And get right takes him out. Now just shocks left and CT spawn. Could send his buddy from the other side. Forest at one health. Now is not the time to jump into CT spawn, Forest. Because you will die. Forest moving to plant. 22 seconds left. 25 seconds left. Sorry. Will plant it safe. Shocks can't push him just yet. He's got to deal with get right first. Get right right around the corner. And takes them down. That's two players surviving here for the ninjas in pajamas. They still have a chance to get seven points. Two rounds left. Envious. The right call here is to buy up to where they can buy next round. So let's see if they do that. They have a few players with some guns. Oh, they are going to yeah throw caution to the wind. Buy up fully on this round. Look at this. How many rounds have we lost in a row? Just one. Yeah, if they lose this, they're going to have to save on the next round. And that could allow Ninjas in Pajamas to get back into it. And they're just charging up middle. This, this is how Envious plays. And this is how they've secured themselves up as one of the top teams. So aggressive. You never expect the kind of crap they're going to do. And NBK gets the kill. Should fall back at this point. NBK still pushing. He doesn't care. Gets into suicide. Forrest at top mid. He's just going to chill right here. What a play. Forrest not going to peek him. Did make a little bit of noise, though. They can try to converge on this player. Well, he takes Forrest down a little bit low, so it was a good trade. Ooh, but there's a pick from Long A. Alu continuing to make up for it here. All right, this is the smoke I was trying to do on stream. No, it's not. This is to allow these guys to get off or to get out at short A. Also to jump down into CT spawn. Kind of worrying these CT players right now. Kyoshima in a fog. Ooh, actually did get the hit, get the leg on that player. Trying to do some uh, Kukli style one digs. Could get this player. Go over the Kukli. It's not gonna happen. That I don't know why he thought jump deagling was the right call here. All right, they're gonna try to elevator shocks up. 
to go for this pick. It's a three versus three retake, it's possible. A little bit of awkward movement there. Bomb planted for long A so they can watch it. Oh, gets the kill on the player jumping. They have to aggress here, puts it into a one versus one against Alu, and Alu holds it. Alu has been a great help for this team. Look at this at 12-11. We actually have get right at 12-11 as well. Freiburg still has zero kills. I don't believe it. One of the premier entry fraggers of the game still hasn't gotten a single frag. And it is the last round of the half. And he's running down suicide. Alright, continuing with this 2-1-2. Two -two. Okay, so because Envious lost that, they're going to have to do a force buy on this round. They do not have very much. A few pistols. They're going to aggressively push here. I think T's are aware and ready for this. They know exactly what they've been doing. Aloe gets the pick from... Where did he get the pick from? From the tunnels. Alright, T's now pushing into B tunnels. Envious forced to fall back. Keep in mind, Envious has been winning eco rounds. They've won two so far. So they could win this. I don't know. Puts it into a three versus five. It's looking bleak for Team Envious. They had a huge lead, and they let it fall through their fingers, slip through their fingers, because they didn't go for the safe play. They bought up on a round where it didn't make sense to buy Foley. All right. So now they get two light buys instead of one full save, or one light buy and one full buy. All right, there we go. It will be a 8-7 for the half. Pretty even at this point. Envious slightly ahead, and we shall resume when the players are ready. Second half will be commencing here. It's worth pointing out that Freiburg does have a kill now. He has one. And we see pretty standard buys all around here. Except we have the pistol nade buy from NBK. That's a P250. Gonna try to get a pre-nade on somebody. He's gonna wait with that. We have Exist watching B. NV is moving into tunnels, now trying to go lower. Get right is watching this. Ninjas and Pajamas has good map control right now for a CT uh, side. Do they have the boost at middle? Yes, they do. Very good map control right now. Get right will get intel when they go lower. All right, Smiths, C Smiths should fall back. There he goes. Now we have the boost here. Who's the player on top? I want to get on that player. It's hard to see when they're on top of each other. There it is, Forrest. He gets the kill. King of the Pistols. They're going to be pushing it to B right now. Exists behind the box. Gets taken down. Forrest is now dead. But here's Alu to pick up the pieces. Happy moves through middle. And Freiburg with a flick shot takes out Happy. That was a great pistol round from Ninjas in Pajamas. And I like that setup that they did. With the boost up here at mid to watch Xbox and short. And then we had the player watching from the, the box here behind B. As well as the player pushed up short to watch lower. The only place this would not really help out is if T's decided to just push out long A. Smoke right here with the one smoke they have flash over the side. And it actually looks like that's what they're doing. Interesting. Two players moving back from short now to watch this. Prenade coming down. We have an Armor Tech 9 ru rush. Ninjas in pajamas throwing all their bullets at him as they go across the cross. But they did make it. Oh, killed two more players there. Bomb will get planted. Three versus three hold off. We have MP7s though versus Tech 9s. Wouldn't have seen this a few years ago. And here's Shocks with the CZ instead of the site. Gets taken down. This is going to be a hard hold here. Bomb is planted safe. Actually, is that planted at... Sh no, it's, it is planted inside of the site. This is going to be hard for Kyoshima to watch it. He's got to pick both of these players. Forrest going for the defuse! And Kyoshima will take them down before it happens. There's a win. Just a slight win there from Envious. Now putting themselves further ahead by taking that all-important pistol round. Or, I'm sorry, they just stole back the economic momentum. They won round number two. We should see a buy-up from Ninjas in Pajamas. No, what? Okay, Ninjas in Pajamas is going to play it safe. They're not ahead right now. It's interesting to see a team that is not ahead play it safe like this. They have no armor for their entire team. They bought a few guns. They want to be able to buy next round. I don't know if they're actually going to be able to buy next round. 
Normally when this happens, when you have teams winning one after the other, one after the other, you're going to have a buy-up until one team wins two in a row. All right, Exist, watching it from on top of the box. Forrest gets killed. Jumping kill from NBK. Here's Gidright watching the next angle. NBK going to peek it again. Shox runs by. Gets taken down through that smoke, and now it is just going to be Alu left. One versus five with just a little pistol there. It's not going to happen. And, yeah. His entire body is red right there from the neck down. Running away. Let's see if Envious sends anybody to intercept. They are. They're sending shocks. I mean, there's no reason for Alu to survive. Let's be honest here. He has no reason to live. And there, NBK moves through lower and picks him. NBK ends that with a three frag. All right, now this is the round I was worried about. Ninjas of Pajamas not buying on that round, or, or buying like a little bit, means they won't be able to buy on this round. So I think some awkward economic decisions from the Ninjas in Pajamas, it's going to put them really far behind. All right. T's pushing into tunnels right now. See if he peeks it. NBK might be peeking right here. Ooh, here the scoped weapon. That is going to be Smiths with the scout getting ready. They're going to move at the same time as NBK. Let's see if they can get the kills. That's going to be Exist on top of the box. Could see him there if he jumps back up. Goes for the kill. Not going to happen because of that uh, hitbox glitch. Molotoving the site. Good kill from Forrest. Another from Forrest. Picks up two players as they move into the site. Puts it into a two versus two. This is actually winnable from the ninjas in pajamas. They may get super lucky here. Freiburg throwing over the pistol to Alu. Gonna have to hold this off from two spots at once. Let's see if Kyoshima can pick it up again here, get some kills. This is where Shox was playing. I'm surprised Shox is playing us out of the sight. And there's the kills. Kyoshima picks up both of them, and there's another win for Envious. Now Ninjas in Pajamas is able to buy. That's a four frag from Kyoshima, but it was against saving players, so... I'm hesitant to do an Owl Vision. All right, so that's why they did it. This was the plan all along. They wanted to do a double op on CT side, and this was the way they could get enough money to do this. Ninjas in Pajamas feels confident enough in their double oping strategy that they kind of used a round to get to this position economically. So they're putting one of them at long and one of them at B, it seems. They're playing middle. Now, usually we'll see an op playing middle into the mid and late... Uh, seconds of the round inside of pro level counter-strike i don't know why it's interesting that the, they decide not to play there instead to play a little bit further back inside of here i guess because this way they can watch b at the same time if they push through middle they're not super exposed and they can help out their buddy if they push into b instead they're gonna be pushing at short a so here's an alley watching it this is the main opera for ninjas in pajamas forest is the secondary offer sometimes they throw that thing over to get right though all right, oh, and they've jumped down into CT. Full-flashed Alu running for his life here from Shocks, And they focus on long in case it's a split, but it is not a split. Get right from CT, picks a player off as they cross. Nice job. Or actually, that was a player who jumped down into CT. Happy was playing Lurk at middle, and he does go down. When Envious pushes A, Happy plays Lurk. Like, you can't just say, well, NBK is always going to Lurk or anything like that. They split up who plays those roles depending upon what they're doing. Ooh, they left the bomb at the cross. Oh, that critical mistake from Envious. And it will work. The double op CT side from the Ninjas in Pajamas. I would say normally when you're going to jump across that... Actually, you know what? Why was the bomb there? Oh, the bomb player must have been killed inside of the CT spawn area as he was running up on that player at long A. Kind of an awkward position to put that bomb to drop it. Alu pushing at short, going for the pick, sees the player in the middle, and it's going to be Shox jumping up Xbox. Needs to fall back now, it is a save. It is not worth it to lose that op against saving players. Freiburg falls into the pit, he's at 12 health left, he actually gets taken down. CT's playing it real close here, and there is a good old-fashioned mow down from Get Right. Three players in but one spray. Get Right is one of those spray players, he's learned the spray control to great extent. You have some players who are more tap players or burst players. Get right. He, he Left mouse button is, is pulled down. A and D are being spammed, and he's getting some mow down kills. Shocks moving down the suicide. Chilling. Knows they're doing this double op strategy. 
And it seems to be working out pretty well for them. Ninjas in pajamas now just slightly behind, clawing their way back into this game. T's inside of the tunnels right now, trying to peek, trying to get the kill through the smoke here. Are they going to push at B? Oh, whoa, Exist could have gotten the kill easily there. What is NBK doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. I think that was a glitch. I'm going to assume that was a glitch and that there was a smoke down there. Spectator glitch. Two versus four now. Teams don't really have a chance. It's just going to be one player left. He's down. The Lurk is dead. Get right with the three frag. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I think that was a spectator glitch where we could see through the smoke. Like, we couldn't see the smoke here at the tunnels, but it was here. It existed inside of the actual game. I honestly thought that was fixed. I thought that was patched, but I guess not. Now they're jumping over at the top. We actually have a save from Envious, and it looks like they might do a brush if no smoke goes down. Setting up for it here. Man, there's the smoke. Not going to happen. Are they going to continue with this? Good pre-nade will hit three players. Exist needs to mow these players down as they push in. That Molotov will get distinguished. No, it won't. What? How did that Molotov survive? All right, they're giving up on that. They've caused a rotate. Three players from Ninjas in Pajamas have moved over to B. Well, they actually are going to push through here. Seems like Ninjas in Pajamas is not playing around. They're not calling their bluff. Shock's going to get some intel at mid. Gets taken down immediately. And here comes the push. And there's the spray down. Exist now getting three players. Envious does not seem to know what to do here on T Sign Dust 2. They're pushing in from every angle. They're just they're getting mowed down nearly every round. Well, here they go in another buy round. Let's see what they can make happen. This double op CT setup from the ninjas in pajamas is working out very well for them. So all of that weird early round economy makes sense now. Like a cloud has been cleared, and I now can see clearly. All right, T's going to be pushing out at long A right now, forcing all three of the aggressive long A players back. Alu gets two picks in the meantime, though, so it is looking bleak here once again for Envious. Nice pick up on Forrest there from NBK, trying to even it up, but they're going to have to play the long game now. They can't just push at long A at this point. NBK gets another pick on Freiburg. Let's check his kill count now. We're keeping tabs on that. At seven, he's doing fine on this half. All right, but two picks, and that's going to even it up. It's going to allow Ninjas in Pajamas... Or, I'm sorry, it's going to allow Envious a chance to win this round. Shonks moving all the way across the map over here into the tunnels. He's got to play red lower. Exist, waiting for him here. Ooh, a mistake! Exist still able to get it. Player's going to push at long. Here is Gidright watching the cross. We also have Alu in position. Oh, a flash goes down. Alu gets the first one. One player gets by. That's Kyoshima, the final terrorist. Down now to 22 health. Nade gonna dissuade the get right from pushing him. Thinks he's gonna try to do some jump shots. Not gonna happen. Could have got that bomb planted for some money here. Instead, gonna focus on killing these players. One player at long and gets taken down by Exist. Now, he had two players low. All he had to do was do two body taps there. Or even the nades that he had. Throw those properly. Had a great chance of making something crazy happen there, but it didn't happen. All right, Ninjas in Pajamas now well ahead at 13 points. Envious has to readjust, figure out what they're doing wrong, and try something else. And they have. They've been doing something different every round, and it's just not working. No matter what they do, Ninjas in Pajamas has their number. Push three players at long in case it's a long push. Fall them back to watch short. One player goes CT. This is like the standard... CT side setup. However, two players inside of B, so it's a 2-1-2. Then they move into this 2-1-2, which has been very strong lately. Alu watching short. Terrorists are going to be trying to split A right now, moving from short and long A. Where are they going to push first, though? Defensive smoke. Oh, that's a terrorist smoke. Going to allow them to run by here. Freiburg going to watch at lower. A good flash will allow him to kill NBK. Two players here, gonna throw another one. Maltop forces him out, but he gets the pick. That's a two for one sale at long A right now. Gary right, trying to spray them down from CT spawn. Terrace take the site, it's now a three versus three showdown. Bomb will get planted, but exists, picks, oh, that's a trade. Puts it into a two versus two, still anyone's game. Forrest with the AWP peeking, waiting for Shox to make a mistake. Let's see if Shox does. 
Two versus one now. Fail Molotov! That Molotov could have just won them the round. Tried to throw it up into the sight, and he gets it! Shots was letting his gun, his little hand, stick around the corner there where it shouldn't have. And Ninjas in Pajamas now puts themselves at 14 points. So close to victory here to push it into a game number two. All right, Envious has got the money, though. They will be able to buy up. They do not want to allow Ninjas in Pajamas to get to the match point. Point. Now let's examine this setup from Ninjas in Pajamas this round. Because this is a really nice setup. It's working well. Let's see if they do the same thing, because it's been working. Oh, no, they're splitting it up a little bit. They're, they're switching it up. So we see them putting two players at long pretty aggressively. Are they putting both ops at B this time? Okay, Alley watching middle and Forest watching at B. Assumes that Envious is going to try to push at B, I guess. They move their players lower. They're playing the standard game. They have the mid control. We see a rotate now. Gidrai moves into position CT. Alu at short, so they've switched it up. Flashing up. They're going to be pushing short, and it looks like they're going to get into the site right now. They were very exposed there. Kind of an odd rotate from Ninjas in Pajamas. They left it open. This is around. They could have just given this round to Envious. We see them even holding short aggressively here. We have Happy lurking still over at B. He's going to go all the way through B to see if he can get a kill on these players' CT. Oh, he could get it right here. <gasps> going to take his time to line it up. Get as many kills as he can. Should just wait here and they push forward and take him. Very stressful when you get into such a great position like that to make something good happen. Four versus three for the retake. Ninjas in pajamas moving in to try to end this. Now puts it into a two versus two. Bomb going down. It is planted for short. Shocks goes for the spray and takes both of them down. Teen Envious stays in this game. That bomb will explode. No, it won't. And Shocks will survive. All right, Ninjas in pajamas, though, still has the money, money, money. Exist was sitting at 16K. That is a max buy money. For those of you who are new to Counter-Strike, you can only hold 16K at one time. They are not doing the double op. They're switching it up significantly here after that loss. However, last round was kind of a weird setup. Left short completely exposed. Envious had a very good read on that. Figured it out. So Al is going to be playing it from short. So he's going to watch short here from car. T's taking mid control. Didn't go anywhere. That smoke says we're going short A right now. Let's see if Ninjas and Pajamas reacts to it. They do by rotating get right over here to Goose. Another smoke thrown. Another smoke that says we are going short A. Oh, that's actually a mid to B smoke. There it is. Mid to B smoke is down. NBK moving through. Seems like they want to try to make them think they're moving mid to B. We still have get right at Goose right now. This could catch him way off guard. Oh, Alu gets picked. That is huge. Get right moves out with a perfect flash. Isn't able to spray the player down. Looks like Envious is going to get into the site. We'll get that bomb planted. Here is Shox to watch Forest. NBK picks it off. Just going to be Exist left, and he goes down. Envious is back in this game at 13 points. Ninjas in pajamas. So close to victory, but yet so far. And they're going to have to save here. We see Exist buying up some CZs for him. Going to have to sneaky beaky around the corners. Try to get up close and make something happen. The smoke at middle to deny intel so that they can stack. And they will be stacking at... No, they're not stacking. Never mind. They're just going to play long and B. Split up all across the map in case Envious tries to be aggressive anywhere. Now rotating get right back to short because they haven't heard anything. They haven't gotten any intel from long or from B. Of course, we see NBK now spraying through there, but the defensive smoke goes down. Now we see these players in this round prioritizing their money into the smokes, but they're all gone now. T's can push wherever they want. Ninjas in pajamas trying to get intel so that they can quickly rotate and deal with whatever happens. And we should see a very fast rotate whenever they get intel. Oh, well, there goes the pick at B. And because of that pick, it may open it up for an envious. They may just decide to push into B right now. It's up to Forrest to hold it off then. Goes after NBK. Not going to happen. CT's in a very bad position to deal with this. Look how far they are. Couldn't be further. Happy going to wait in the smoke here. Let's see if he pushes through it. Shots to watch the tunnels. Freiburg will get the entry. Smoke goes down, though. Happy's still waiting for this player in CT. 
Oh, it's getting right. He's boosted up. Gets the kill. Should be able to get that AK as well. Kiyoshima's watching it, though. Get right can't peek out here, or he's going down. Seems like Ninjas in Pajamas is going to save it. Give it the 14-14. Try to grab some money and some guns. Freiburg finds himself an AK. Just Freiburg left. He saved the AK. Will be able to survive. That bomb definitely going to be going down. Or going off. And there it goes. 14-14, all tied up right now. Envy has put themselves back into the game, and Ninjas in Pajamas has just enough money to buy up. Going back to a standard one-op setup here on CT Side Dust 2. We have a two-op T Side. Happy and Smith's both spawn really close to B. We could have done something crazy with that. Smith's going to watch the cross. Let's see if Happy goes for a pick or if he goes lower to watch short. He's going for the pick. No, not going to happen. Here's Kyoshima to watch lower. Takes a nade right to the face. Down half health right now. Adley watching this close. He's got the reflexes to get this shot. See if he moves out to watch Xbox pretty soon here. One player is creeping up short right now with the bomb. Players inside of tunnels. Seems like Envious wants to split B. Ooh, nade gonna force him out a little bit. Did a little bit of damage. Oh, he's gonna smoke and fall back. Play it from further back. Not get too crazy with it here. No picks yet. Nobody's dead. We're at 55 seconds and nobody's died. It's been a very peaceful day of Counter-Strike. And terrorists are creeping into Bombsite B right now. Happy does not get the entry on Exist. NBK avoids the flash and gets the pick on Exist. We have Kiyoshima moving through from middle. Forrest jumps into the site. He's got to survive this. He's got players on all sides. He gets one pick, trades himself. Not going to happen. Here comes Get Right. No, there could be a player at middle. All right, here's Freiburg now. Has to fall back. Shock's in position to pick these players if they try to do anything. Both of them in CT do. They have intel that both CTs are inside of CT spawn. Well, here's this player close. Freiburg looking for him. Does pick. Two versus two now for the retake. This is a possible retake right now for Ninjas in Pajamas. Very important round. 14-14, all tied up. Whoever wins this is probably going to win this game. And one moving one in through the window. That is Freiburg. He's in the side right now. One versus two. And gets taken down from Kiyoshima. Very close game. Envious now puts themselves into the lead. It started off looking like it was going to be a clean, envious win. But now it has come full circle. One round away. Match point. Ninjas in Pajamas has got to make this happen with what? A Mag-7, FAMAS, 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 and OP. To push this thing into an overtime. This is going to be a very difficult round for them. Well, they do have Ally with an OP. Alright, T's going to be trying to enter into B. No, just trying to spray these players down. It's worth it. We've seen some damage being done. We've seen a player get picked due to crazy shots through the smoke. Get right with the Mag-7. Remember when he got that ace with the Mag-7 early on when this weapon was super overpowered? Good times. All right. T's try to enter into Bombsite B. Two of them get mowed down by Forrest. Now they've moved back to middle. They don't know what to do. Get right rotates to help out with a B push. It's not going to happen, though. I think they're going to be pushing at short A. Having some trouble with the Xbox. We see the nerves showing through here for Envious. And here is Alu to hold off the push. Let's see if he can do it. T's pushing out now. This is the moment that defines an opera. And trying to peek him. Jumps out. Avoids the death. Does get flashed, though. Gets the kill on Smiths. Just one player left. That is Kyoshima. And Alu takes all three of the final frags. And that is going to push this thing into an overtime. It is tied up now 15 to 15. Overtime is commencing right now, and it looks like it is going to be a best of 10 overtime. Normally, and in most leagues, it is going to be a best of 6 overtime, but seems like they do things a little bit differently here. And it seems like they're doing a 16k start money. Goodness, that is a lot of money. Let's see how this works out. Kind of a strange rule set for these teams to work with. I know some people do the 10 thing, but I think Face It does it. All right, we have the smoke down at middle. Now, these rounds are so important. They need to win six to win it. 
Ooh, get right. Tries to escape there. Not gonna happen. Normally when you're escaping like that, you're gonna throw a flash down immediately so that they can't chase you. Get right through a nade down, thinking that would stop his opponents, and it did not. They pushed right through and picked him. Now that's one CT picked, greatly favoring Envious now. It is Dust 2, and they're ahead one man on the T side. They're gonna be pushing at short right now. Here's Alu to hold it off. He did a great job in the last round. Let's see if he can do it again. He's set up to just charge in here. 43 seconds left in the round. They're taking their time. Pushing one player through middle. They did this before. That's NBK. Let's see if NBK actually gets picked here by Forrest. Yeah, that is what is what's gonna happen. Double op set up from Ninjas in Pajamas. Going back to what was working. Alu gonna get flashed down. He falls back. He plays it safe. That's interesting. Last time he got three picks there. Forrest in position to help out. Bomb getting planted. Two CTs are at long. Have a good spread. Here they go. Freiburg up close. Gonna try an entry. See shocks. Does pick him. Going after Kyoshima as well. Forrest gets the kill. Smith's close range opping. Happy moving in from the other side to save his buddy, but he's just a little bit too late. Happy takes another one. And finally gets taken down by Exist. And there's gonna be a win for the ninjas in pajamas on the first round of our best of 10 overtime. So that's a CT win on overtime on Dust2. Nicely done, Envious. Of course we'll be buying up. This is, now overtime is it's set up so that you don't really have to worry about your economy anymore. You're gonna be buying every single round. Smith's gonna be watching the cross. Pretty much all comes down to just your strats and just your, did he get that? What a hit on Exist. Flicked that thing perfectly. Took him down to 20 health through that door. Very nice shot. All right, Envious. Still having trouble making something happen here on T-side. It seemed like they started finally winning it when Ninjas and Pajamas started falling apart here and doing some strange different setups here on CT side. Now Ninjas and Pajamas is going back to their strength. This is what got them so many rounds early on in, the, in their CT half. Well, there's the pick. They just lost their opper. That's going to allow the T's to move into the site easily. Bomb will get planted. Let's see some Kuklis. From get right. No, oh, he's not risking it. Picks off Smiths. What a nice shot. Creeping around the back here. Takes his time to reload those five rounds he used. He's like, well, I got to kill. Oh, he's dead immediately. CT's in some trouble. This is a very difficult retake right now. Freiburg very low from long A right now. Forrest watching short. Bomb is planted for short. And a good position from Kiyoshima. And shocks allow them to kill the final two players. All right, it's tied up 16 to 16 right now. Envious. Oh, look at this. NBK is about to hit 30 frags. And we have Kiyoshima at 32. Nobody even close to that on the CT side. On ninjas and pajamas. And Smiths gets the entry there. Gets the pick on Alu. You can see how slowly Alu was moving at middle. That is the op nerf in effect. Makes it more difficult to play mid with the op on Dust 2. Most definitely. Forrest trying to watch it over the top of that smoke. Misses the shot on shocks. Allows him to get to short. Short's open again. Just Freiburg here to hold off A. One player moves CT, that's Forrest to help out. Shox tries to jump down, but Forrest gets an ob shot on him. I think if Forrest missed that shot, he was dead there. Oh, he doesn't know about Kyoshima, who's close. Oh, gets the flick shot. What a hit on Kyoshima. Nice headshot. NBK moving into the site. Forrest, are you sure you weren't born to be an opper? Let's see if CTs decide to push into the site or allow the T's to move in. We have bomb in middle right now. Could go either way. NBK gets the entry, and it's just Forrest left. One versus three. He has to ace for the win. Misses it. Oh, gets that just through the box. Didn't even see that player. Just threw the round at him. T's going to be moving over to bomb site A. Both of them carrying ops, so we're going to see an op versus op op. It's an op off. Grabs the AK. Never mind. Still has to ace for the win. And he gets taken down by Happy. Envious will now take the lead now. All right, double op T side, dust two. 
And we have one op now for CTs, because they do not have enough money to give that thing to Forrest. Happy probably going to watch mid as Smith's. Oh, uh, Smith's going to watch mid. Is Happy going for the pick at long? Yes, he is. Let's see if he gets it. Should see some pre-nades down here as well, though. There's a pre-shot. Holds the angle. RCT's going to peek it. Oh, they're going to flash themselves out. That's smart. They now have that position. One player gets picked inside of tunnels. NBK was trying to pick... Is there a smoke there is the question? Yes. So it seems like NBK tried to shoot through that smoke and got punished for it. One player picked. They could still push at short. Envious's pushes at short have been working out very well so far. Al has been having trouble holding it off ever since the overtime. What a lovely op skin. And they're going to be Molotoving the site and pushing in. We see Freiburg actually rotating the CT in case they go middle. Alu watching it here. Get right picks the Lurk. Nice kill from Alu. Oh, Kyoshima takes him down. Kyoshima's been on fire this game. Let's Freiburg get by. Going for the tap shots. And Freiburg finally ends him. Kyoshima's one of those entry fraggers who does really um, accurate one-tap headshots. So you'll see that a lot from him. He's the other scream, I guess. Kyoshima's gonna be opping? Okay. Opping at mid. See if you can get the hit on this player cross. That's gonna be a no. Alright, Forrest and Alu gonna be opping. Double op versus double op here. No smoke down at CT. We have a full buy from Ninjas in Pajamas. No smoke here. This is an invitation. This is like, please split B. This is surprising. Normally you'd see a player try to peek it, try to pick it if this happened. And they're playing it very cautious. They're like, this has to be a trap. You see they're flashing over on the left side to try to get a player to peek out. They're trying to figure out what's going on here. They're not biting. They are not, they're gonna actually smoke the other side. Well, there's the defensive smoke going down. One minute left now. Nothing has happened. It seemed too good to be true for Envious, and they're not going to fall for it. Instead, they're going to be splitting A. So they saw the invitation. They're like, it says, come on, please try to take B. Instead, they're going to be splitting A from long and short. Here's Freiburg to hold off the long push. Oh, Kyoshima runs through the fire and gets over to the blue. Should probably nade this player. NBK pushing up forward. Got players close that long. Gets taken down. Should evacuate here. Kyoshima holding his ground. And gets taken down. This has been a disaster for Envious. Nice attempt by Smith. Takes two players down with him, but that was a disaster of a round. The Ninjas in Pajamas now at 18, and that is actually going to be the first half of our overtime. Or rather, the half of our overtime. All right, second half commencing here. <clears throat> Ninjas in pajamas. Slightly ahead. Taking the T sign. Alley going to be open. Probably watching mid here. Getting some intel. They're going to be crossing. Notice we haven't seen op battles at mid. That's not a thing anymore. The new meta is to smoke that cross without giving intel. So we have CT smoking that instead of T's. Happy trying to mow that player down through the smoke as he moved down long. They do get the kill, so that's two picks already against the ninjas in pajamas. Already looks like he's going to have some trouble here on T-side. Now they're going to try to peek it. Trying to make it happen. What can you really do here in a three versus five? Seems like they're going to try to push out long. Or I'm sorry, push out short A. Tank A site. Smiths is watching that with the AWP. We have a 2-1-2 again from Envious. Two players stacked B, one mid. Both teams have been doing this, though. Happy sees get right, kind of peek out there. Here is Smiths watching short A now. Two players left, and that is it. Knows the player's there because he saw the half side of his body. Gets the kill. Now here's Exist, and gets the other one. Nice pickups from Smiths to end that round. It's all tied up, 18-18. Envious back in this game. Pretty much even at this point. All right, here's Alu. Moving to watch mid. They had a, a great spawn for B. Forest running into the tunnels now. Probably going to go lower. 
They're not even smoking that. Now, we know the meta for Dust 2 at the professional level is not kind of what you see at, at the at the lower level of play. So nobody's just going to run into Bombsite B. There's generally going to be a smoke down. The CTs don't even have to smoke it because the Ts know not to push in there. It's just not going to happen. So, However, Envious loves to push in to the tunnels. And Forrest is waiting for that. So they have to leave a player to watch that. They have to leave a player here to watch it long because Ninjas in Pajamas knows exactly how Envious plays. All right, they're creeping out middle right now. They could throw a mid to B smoke from middle to make it go down faster. Who has that? I think Exist might throw that. Exist is actually peeking it there to see if anybody's in CT spawn. There is an opera watching that. That is Smith's. This is dangerous right now. Is he going to throw the smoke? Smoke goes down. Oh, shows himself. Just missing it. Trying to hit him through that smoke. It is going to be a B split right now. The 2 1 2 is strong here. And here is Shocks inside of the site. Goes down. T's have control. Will be getting that bomb planted. CT's moving in quickly. Looks like they actually want to prevent this bomb from getting planted. Nice defense by Exist to save his buddy Alu as he plants that bomb. And we see Smith's trying to get up on top of the box to op over the top of it. Lurk player get right's not going to see anybody because both CTs are moving in from CT spawn mid. NBK waiting for the lurk, but there is no lurk. Going to be pushing into the site. And one from inside of the tunnels, one on the... Just MBK left, one versus two, not gonna happen. Alu picks him off, and that will be another win here. Ninjas in Pajamas now ahead. One point over Envious, they're on the T side, they have the advantage, they have him on the ropes. Let's see if they can close this out and win it. All right, CT gonna cross. Not going to happen. We have three rounds left in this overtime. For the ninjas in pajamas to win this. Freiburg creeping down mid. Happy gonna be playing it a little bit aggressive here. Maltop forcing him back. We have the boost up watching Xbox. We'll see if Freiburg jumps, and he does. He's gonna peek this spot though. But Kyoshima will get the kill. They will fall back. Nicely done once again. Happy still pushed up close here. Here's Alu watching that mid. Oh, he's going to peek at first. Tries to flash himself out. Jumps right into danger. We have a player at lower. That was Forrest who killed Happy. Happy got a little bit too aggressive there in his peek. He got the kill. May just wanted to fall back right there. Maybe even watch lower. But he went for more. He got greedy. He got hungry. He was a kid in the candy store and the fifth jelly bean was laced with poison. Three versus four right now for the terrorists. NBK still watching at long A. T's moving back to middle to decide what to do. Now, if they can flash out Smith's here, we see they have two, no, three Maltovs. So probably short A is the right call. Because you can use these Maltovs pretty effectively at A. They're actually going to fake A, move out middle. They do not have a smoke for this. Are able to pick Envious, but look, we still have Smith's here to watch this. And even so, I mean, Kyoshima was able to hold off B by himself three kills. Kind of an odd call when you don't have a smoke to push out middle. So they have middle there. They got three players. They know what's going on. They know there's an opera still left. They decide to push out mid and move into B while watching this side. Kind of strange since we know there's going to be an opera watching this. They have Maltovs. They could have Maltov the site. They could have Maltov back here and then try to push it in short. I don't know. It was a questionable play from Ninjas in Pajamas. And they were punished for it. I know some of you guys were saying, with my casting, I should be more, or I shouldn't be judgmental of the teams. Would you like me to say, oh, they're great. Ninjas in Pajamas are the best. They they put their all into that strat. And, you know, Envious was just the better team, guys. Or would you like me to tell it how it is? All right, Smith's playing close here. The Omp at short. Looking like Ninjas in Pajamas is going to do a split at Bombsite A. One play around the corner... For most of this, Envious has had a player playing inside of the pit at long. Now they have a player playing close. Miz has got to drop down. Now here's MBK. Launches trap. Oh, he jumps into the pit. Oh, had an opportunity there. Line him up. Sees the player close. Nice hit from Smith. He got that while he was flashed. Still knows there's one player at long. Two players still at short. Happy trying to mow him down as he goes by. Nice kills by Forrest and Freiburg. Nice by Happy. Good spray. Just Freiburg left, one versus two now. Looking 
option for these players trying to get the pick before he tries to go for a bomb plant. Now one versus one against Happy. Happy at two kills. Freiburg at two kills. Maltov try to plant. Let's see if Happy pushes through it. 25 health. He can't push through it. This is the opportunity and Freiburg jumps up and Happy will get the kill. That's going to give Envious the lead right now at 20. It is it. Match point right now. Envious needs to win this last round to win this game. To get that 21 point. However, Ninjas and Pajamas can tie it up once again and go into another overtime. They do have the money. Able to buy every round. Get right's Worm God there. It's a nice skin. Freiburg runs down the suicide. Happy gonna peek here. Just watching short. Let's see if he pushes out and watches lower where Forest is. Or the Xbox where Freiburg is gonna jump up in just a second. Oh, he's gonna fall back. Freiburg launching at middle. Envious playing this very passive. They know they're so far ahead. Gonna allow Ninjas and Pajamas to make the first move. And here's Kyoshima watching middle. Thinks they're pushed out and will flash. And they were. That flash will not hit them. Should see a mid to B smoke thrown here from middle. Oh, they're gonna peek it? Smith is actually flashed. Jumps down into CT and gets picked. This is a huge opening for the Ninjas and Pajamas. Kyoshima pushing out middle. It's really up to Kyoshima here. And I think they're gonna... Oh, Ninjas and Pajamas still not made up their mind. Gonna allow Envious to spread themselves out a little bit. Happy rotates to mid. We still have NVK at CT to help watch A. Good pick from Happy. Actually trading himself at that point. Not a good call. It is all up to Kyoshima here. Match point. He will get a one tap on Forrest. But Forrest's one tap is a one hit kill. Get right close to NBK. One versus four. Three players low. Probably not going to happen, but doable. Doesn't know about the lurk. This is the lurk to end all lurks right now. Get right sitting right next to him. Could reach out and touch him right now. And messes it up. Well, I don't think NBK expects to win it, but he has to go for it now. There's no reason to save it. His last round could push it into another overtime. It's time to push in. This is the moment that defines a player. It's a tough situation. He'll take one down with him, but that does nothing but pad his stats. That is going to push us into another overtime now at 20-20. Second overtime is going to be commencing. The board has been wiped clean, and it all comes down to this once again. It is tied 20-20 right now. Kyoshima getting close to a 40 bomb. This game keeps going. Both teams are going to be doing single off. They've switched it up considerably than how they were playing earlier. NVS putting two players in B, three players long. Get right pushes out. Going to see if anybody gets into the pit. Oh, NBK gets the kill as he's running into the pit. Nice pickup on Get right. Now the T's gonna be pushing at short A. Here's Smith Z to watch it with the off. He's still got some friends at long watching his back. But it looks like the T's will get into the site right now and get close. That Molotov was dead on arrival. Smith's trying to pick the player down. Pulls out the CZ. And gets taken. Kyoshima on the site. Mows him down now. Just Alu left. Good retake from the CT. Putting the pressure on. Happy runs around the corner and gets that kill with the accurate USPS. There's a first round win for Envious right there. But as this series has shown, it's still anybody's game. It's pretty much even at this point. All right, Envious. Nice job. They let him take short, then they moved in and retook it. That is the general thought process behind not putting too much defense at short A. It's going to be easier to retake that when they push in, or as they're pushing in to make something happen. Pretty much every single time, you're going to have to leave a Lurk player. And if the CTs can kill that Lurk, they're going to be able to get great position, a great surround on those Ts. So Ninjas and Pajamas pushing short. Got to make sure their Lurk's in the right spot. Oh, NBK down to 16 health already. Very low. Freiburg just sitting on the Xbox. He's like, this is my box. I own this box. Keeps getting killed when he jumps up on top of it, but got himself there. Good flash over the top. It will hit Smith's just slightly. They're not going to peek it. Smoke is going to clear here. Going to allow Get Right to run out. Smoking around the side. Player inside of it. 
Freiburg's gonna peek it, throw a few rounds down there, get the players pushed up close. And smoke them off. The delay will commence. 40 seconds left. Ninjas in pajamas gonna have to make their move pretty soon. Just Kyoshima left with the last nade, so they can wait for those to clear. They're gonna be doing a split A, though. Alright, let's see how this works out for them. Smith's watching it. Get right pushes out. Ooh, there's the pick by Get Right. Smith takes another one. Thinks there's only one player along. And oh, that player does fall back. Kyoshima moving in from behind here. Lurk player is going to be Exist. Allows him to survive for a few more precious seconds. It's just going to be Exist left. One versus three. Four seconds left. Throws down the pre-fire on that player. Needs to escape. He cannot go down. CTs are going to chase him. This is like a horror movie. And yes, he will survive. Envious now up two points against the Ninjas in Pajamas. Needs six points to win it. So that is 26. Whoever gets to 26 first will win. All right, Alu going to be watching mid with the AWP. Count the cross. Sees him go by. And we'll get right now. Going to get smoked off. And it commences. We've seen a very standard game. This entire time has, has been standard. Like, you'd think, like, wow, we're into round number what now? 43? You'd think it was like, oh, man, this is such an exciting match. But this has been one of the most standard matches I've seen. I mean, Envious has even stopped pushing into tunnels. And they've stopped being aggressive. And they're playing it safe. And Both teams are, are really laid back here. It feels like they've already thrown everything that they have each other. They're sort of just tiring out right now. Like, two boxers come out swinging, and now they're just kind of tapping each other until one gets tired and goes home. Terra's pushing out at middle. No smoke mid to B just yet. Still with the two-player stack inside of B. We're seeing the same thing. Just replay over and over and over and over again. But, of course, that is Counter-Strike. Kiyoshima turns his back and gets taken down. Shock's inside of the site now. Gonna hold off the whole push. Got a smoke on his left side. Picks off the bomb carrier. Gonna delay that plant for as long as possible and get those kills. Now it's just happy. One versus three. It's probably not gonna happen here unless he can pick one of these guys. And he does. Now puts it into a winnable situation. Grabs the op. This is a little bit strange to try to solo this with an op. Oh, fails the flash. That might be a big lose for him. Gets the no scope as he moves in, but get right. Makes his way through the tunnels and saves the round. Ninjas in Pajamas takes their first round here for the second overtime. And we'll commence. It continues. We've almost had too much Counter-Strike here. Alu watching down middle. Three players this time over to B. It's quite aggressive. I mean, Ninjas in Pajamas has not been pushing into B, so... I'm not sure the point of that. We've had no picks, no even attempts at picks at middle. Not even a crossfire. The three-player stack here. One player watching from the window, that vantage point. Leaving A really exposed. Now, it seems like what has been working for ninjas in pajamas, what they're trying to do is where they creep out middle, throw that mid to B smoke, and then split B from both sides. So I think Envious is anticipating that with this stack. Or they're just flipping a coin, that too. Alright, short is now clear. It's time for the Ninjas in Pajamas at 50 seconds to make their move. One smoke left on Shocks. Where is this going? He's got it pulled. And it will delay B. So they're probably going to push at, sh at uh, short A right now. Here's Smith to watch it. Three players still inside of the site. Hits Freiburg as he jumps down CT. Freiburg is low right now. Oh, he's going to go in after him. He's going to clean the infestation. They're going mid to B though, so... Envious is in a great position to deal with this. Three versus one. Alu goes down by a nice shot by Shocks. Now that is a standard ninjas in pajamas strat. That is like the ninjas in pajamas T side strategy. And that is you smoke right here. Uh, Freiburg comes up short, jumps over into CT spawn. Then you do a mid to B split. So you have this area clear. You don't have to worry about that. And then you have a player coming from this side as well. So if they have a crossfire here like this, this player gets absolutely screwed. 
I think Envious was completely prepared for that, though. Well, there's the pick on the player pushing aggressively at short. Smith is going to pick up the slack for him, though. Get in position in case they try to push it. Here they go. Envious now moving into the tunnels. And Forrest is waiting for them. Well, there's a trade, I guess. Puts it into a two versus four. It looks good for the ninjas in pajamas. All right, they have the crossfire at mid. Thinks they're going to push out mid, or at least hoping they are. Instead, they're going to go up to... Go up top mid, probably try to go short. A is completely clear. They're gonna be trying to boost up Smiths or boost up Kyoshima to do something. Now just Kyoshima left. Notice we haven't been having saves because of how much money these guys have. Like, what do you really do at this point? There's no strategy here. Overtime gets a little bit bland, which is why generally it is put into uh, best of six instead of best of ten. Because it's pretty much just buying every single round. All right, and they're going to be moving into the second half. Envious got one point up there on the CT side. Still pretty much even anyone's game as this game continues. It continues. Second half of the second overtime. Goodness. It continues. 45 rounds have gone by so far. This is round number 46 in this game. Counter-Strike can go on forever, folks. It's like tennis. Unlike tennis, though... The players won't eventually fall down in exhaustion. They are fueled by caffeine. They are sitting in a comfortable chair. And they have time to breathe in between rounds. It continues. Oh, there's the entry kill. They're just going to be pushing into bombsite B. Envious is having none of that. They are tired of this game. They are charging into the bombsite. A full brush right there. Happy was lurking, but he goes down. Oh, Alu tries to, like, pre-shot a player inside of the window. Almost hit get right while he was flashed. CT's gonna try to mount a retake here. No, they're not. Boosting up Alu on a nice spot here to try to pick that player. Look at that, it just takes his time. It's like it's nothing. Kyoshima close. Seems like they're gonna push get right through the window here. Smith is watching it. Takes the player down from above. Nice kills. Everybody's gone. Get right will be able to get that defuse and ninjas in pajamas. What a retake. That was a great retake. Envious. Here's Envious' strat, guys. I hope you're paying attention here because you can use this in your games. That's the strat. Now here is ninjas in pajamas retake strategy. All right. It continues. 23-23 all tied up. Two ops on T side here for Envious. Smith's going for the pick at long. Happy going for the pick at B. Let's see if they get either of these. Oh, doesn't allow the player to go by. Stands there and absorbs the flash and the nade that was coming through. Nade actually did miss, though. All right, T's. Working on control right now. Get right moves into CT. Continuing with the 2-1-2 two -two setup on Dust 2. Where's this Molotov going? I guess that's to prevent players from going short, I guess, from lower B. For a few seconds. Allo in position to watch for the short push right now. We see Envious setting up for it. They're pushing out right now. Let's we'll see if Allo can get it. One player drop down. I think, no, he fell back. So they're falling back to middle. Let's see where they decide to go. Going into tunnels right now. Seems like they want to split B. Ninjas and Pajamas has not rotated at all, though. Ninjas and Pajamas is a team that doesn't really rotate very much. They don't over-rotate. They play very stoically. They hold their positions. They play the long game, you know? They don't try to out-position their, their uh, opponents very much. Oh, wow. Kyoshima goes over the box and gets him and gets the next kill. They jump by the cross here. Going to be a two versus four for the retake. It's only going to happen if they get some picks here. And those picks are not going to happen. Bomb gets planted. And the Lurk player, Happy, is able to take out Freiburg. Alu. Goes after Happy. Didn't even look like he fired there. And gets taken down. Envious now takes the lead. They're ahead by one point. They need to win these next two. All right, double offing T sign. Commencing with this. It worked out very well. Alu this time going over at A side. Oh, they're not doing 2 1 2. They use the nade to get across that middle. Oh, and this is the round they're going to be pushing into B. There's no smoke here. 
Well, there's the smoke. Never mind. We'll play it more standard. And they're in 2 1 2. Never mind. Actually, no, they've, they've doubled up on long A. They have Get Right and Freiburg here. Get Right should rotate back and go CT right now. Alu playing CT, though. He'll fall back, and then once he gets there, Get Right will go CT. To watch mid. And there's the the flash to try to prevent these players from pushing. Shox is down at 8, so if they throw a pre-nade here, he will go down. Looks like they're going to try to push here at short A. Kyoshima going to entry. Gets flashed and falls back a little bit. Two players to deal with. Are they going to fall back? Mid to B smoke has been thrown. They push out. Kyoshima is the distraction. No, they still have the bomb at short. They could go either way. They're going to try to get an opening here. Try to get a kill. And, oh, that's not going to... That's not the opening they needed. Get right in the sight. That Molotov will force him out. Smiths picks up the kill. We still have Alu at short. Picks off Smiths. Happy moving out along. Nice kill on Freiburg. Good flick shot. Puts it into a two versus two. Bomb is down right now, and BK trying to get it. Both players inside of CT spawn. And they're gonna watch it. Make sure they can't push him. He needs to get that bomb. 17 seconds left. He does not have time to go to B. Will get taken down. Happy's got to kill both of these players very quickly here. It's not gonna happen. 10 seconds left. Will not be able to get that bomb planted in time. And Forrest will get the Kukli. 24-24, all tied up right now. I felt like Envious should have had that one. They just, I don't know why, but he just couldn't grab that bomb. It was right there in front of him at short. He needed to just push out. Flash, we had a flash go down. Use that flash to push out and grab that bomb. Get it over into bomb site A. Have the player hold the angle for CT. He knew both players were in CT spawn. But instead, they played it, they just waited. They, yeah, I don't know. But at this point, mental fatigue starts to set in. Huh. Alu tries to hit that player, but he jumps up and avoids the bullet. Like Agent Smith from the Matrix. And T's take mid control. Alu in the standard position with the off. Waiting for those smokes to clear to make something happen. Alright, we see them have a crossfire here at middle, instead of just holding B with two players. That's nice, because that player can always go back and watch B. And here he goes, moving back. Get right really up close here. T's moving around lower B. Seems like they want to fall back and just push into the site. Try a b b b b rush or a delayed B. Waiting for that smoke to clear. That's a danger zone right there. Once that danger zone clears, here they come. They will be pushing into the bomb site here. It is all tied up 24 to 24. One team needs to win two in a row here to avoid this going into another overtime. T's trying to power their way in. Lurk player goes down, just happy left. One versus four. That yeah, player's close. Gonna miss it, and we'll go down. That felt so futile. All right, one round left. It is match point now for the ninjas in pajamas. If they can win this, they'll finally end this game. And we won't see overtime number three. Double op T side from Envious right now. They have to win this to stay in this game. Triple op? What? Yes, they are going to triple op. And they go off in unison as the players jump across that middle. If you can get a body shot, like two players get body shots through the door, you can pick a player off in middle. Which is a really nice thing to do. Alright, so they only bought those ops because it's last round, so that they could launch their shoot through the door with three ops and try to make something happen. They missed all three. And then he dropped it and picked up the AK. Nice pick by Shox, that's a good opening. Trying to push here. Freiburg up close. Very bad positioning for him. T's pushing out at long, and it looks like Envious is going to take this and push it into the other overtime. Three versus two here. Or I'm sorry, three versus four. Now a four versus two. Just two players on the CT left. Smith's pushed up at short A right now. We have a player sneaking up from behind him. Here's Happy. Oh, misses the shot. We're seeing these players' skill level. Their power levels are being drained throughout this game. See, Smith's just... He just walked into the fire and just died. That just happened. And because of that silliness, we now have an opportunity for a win from the CTs. Nope, Kiyoshima taps the rest down. And we shall move on to overtime. Number three. It continues. I never thought I'd say this, but round 51 is commencing right now. 51. I mean, I don't play that much Counter-Strike in a week. 
Actually, I do. Who am I kidding? I have a problem. Alright, Team Envy has taken the T side here in the overtime. Going to be pushing at short A right now. Keep in mind, this is part of a best of three series. Envious is up one point. A win by them would mean a win for the series. Can you imagine? I mean, this is a best of three, and it, it continues. All right, get right playing CT. Molotov, so they can't push out. Smith's watching it, though. Just staying out of vision of it. Get right pushes forward. Happy and Smith's get picks. Exist, standing on right the other side of this smoke. He knows there's players there. Gonna try to mow him down close range. Nice attempt, but Shox knows that trick. Because he invented it. Alright, we have a lurk coming down middle now. CT's just trying to get some kills. Not gonna happen. Just Freiburg left. One versus four. Knows there's a player at short. MBK pushing at him. Hasn't even gotten hit yet. Got a bow. We'll take him down half health now for that shot. Looks like he's trying to just take as many down with him as he can. It honestly doesn't matter. Poor Freiburg's efforts right now are completely futile. Thanks to the overtime setting. And he will get taken down by NBK. Envious starts off this overtime one point ahead. Keep in mind, you have to get six points to win it. So we're talking 31. Double op T side here for Envious. Single op for Ninjas in Pajamas. Pushing three players into B tunnels. We'll see if Happy goes for the pick here if the smoke doesn't go down. Oh, Maltov going down. Looked like MBK wanted to run in there too. Is that the smoke? That is a flash. Will exist, jump up, and the smoke goes down. No blood spilled. Terra staying in middle. What is this boost? Who is this? This is Smith's right now. Looking over the top of the wall in the craziest boost ever. Man, I would hate to get killed to that. He jumps down and pushes out middle. He's had enough of Alu spamming off shots through that door. It's like when your neighbor gets a new drum set and boo doo boo doo boo doo and you just go over there like, Shh, calm yourself. Had enough of that. He went over and knocked on his door. He said, cut that out. All right, terrorists look like they want to push at short A right now. Alu and get right here to watch it. Ninjas in pajamas doing a good setup. If they try to push B, they have to run into two players. At a difficult position. If they try to push A, they gotta run into two players at a difficult position. Alu gonna miss his shot. Get right, waiting to flash it. There he goes. Gonna run out with it as he's been doing. Gets all three players. Has an opportunity. Takes two. There's Shox. Still up. Shox is pushing forward on get right. Takes him down. Shox is still up now. Two versus four. Looks like Ninja's Pajamas has a really good chance of winning this. Now just Shox left. One versus four. And gets one kill. Very nice shot on Freiburg. Got CTs on all sides. We see him trying really hard to make something happen. Fake planting to get another kill. No rounds left. Forced to pull out the Glock and will go down. That's a three frag from Shox. A nice attempt at some thrilling heroics. But honestly, we have seen no. We've seen zero thrilling heroics this entire match. We've seen no great displays of individual skill. We've had zero owl visions. And we're moving on to round 53. It's all tied up, 26 to 26. Terrace pushing into tunnels right now, happy going for the pick. Smoke goes down. Nobody pushing up aggressively at short. Smoke down at middle. Flash will force that player back. Maltov going down. I don't know what that was for, it didn't really help. Did it? Oh, Shox gets the pick! I guess it was the force that player to peek it. Like, haha, your Molotov sucks. All right, Shox gets two entries. Now moving into bombsite B, it's just exist left. Gets taken down immediately. And it looks like we're going to have another win here for Envious, putting themselves in the lead. Shox gets taken down. A few players left to clean up here, but it looks like it's already a win for Envious. Kyoshima okay, waiting right around the corner. Watch your corners, Freiburg. Freiburg could not pull off a Hiko shot, and now it's just Alu left. One versus three, and he's going to run away and save and have a nice little party here at Long A by himself. All right. 
Doesn't even look like Envious wants to hunt him down. Oh, now they're gonna be going out there. Nope. Just exiting. Now they're watching it top mid. The bomb will go off. Terrorists win. Yes, and the player model showing signs of fatigue here. As he gets into the corner and just waits for the round to end. Envious now at 27 points to Ninjas in Pajamas, 26. Double Ops CT side from Alu and Forest. By the way, thank you for suggesting this game to cast. Nading for the cross. However, they did hit Exist right there. Took him down very low. This looks good for the Ninjas in Pajamas. Or, I'm sorry, it looks good for Envious. Alu could get the pick. Does get it. Nice pick. Been waiting to do that all game. Happy trying to pick out long. Gets taken down to 24. Starting to look better for the ninjas in pajamas. Alu's still in the same position here at short. He made it work. He's going to continue to try to make it work. Oh! He shot like after he went around the corner. That was a little bit weird. And seems like NBK tried to push into B. There's still two players there. Of course, he was, he was just playing Lurk right now. Oh, Smith shows himself to the player inside of CT spawn. Terrace trying to entry here at short. Alu in position. And here they go, pushing out. Alu gonna miss it. Good flash. Gitterite gets the kill from CT. One player moving out at long. Freiburg picks him up, though. And are they gonna fall back from this? Two versus five right now. They don't really have a choice, do they? No, they're gonna continue to push out short. Try to make something happen with this, but it doesn't look like it. I think Ninja from the Jams has this one. Just happy left. One versus five. Flashed in alone, and he is dead. It's all tied up once again. 27 to 27. Last round of the first half of the third overtime. And we have three ops from Envious once again. They're going to try to spam these things through the door. Let's see if they can get it. Then they'll drop it and get that AK. One. Nope, not going to happen. Okay, so... Are they using all of those there? Yes, they are. Oh no, they got Happy over here at uh, B. Now one of the things they could do is make them think that both of the Ops are playing mid. Like you wouldn't expect to see Triple Op. MBK just pushing out here. Does get taken down by Forest. Close range Oping here. Ooh! Baits out the shot from Happy. Good flash, gonna allow the teammates to come in. Now puts it into a three versus two. Bomb is down. Allo inside of the window right now, getting ready to peek it. Both players flash, Freiburg moves in and mows the final two down. Ninjas in pajamas ahead by one point now, moving into the next half, the second half of the third overtime. All right, Ninjas in pajamas taking the T side. They are now slightly ahead of Envious. One point ahead and now taking the T side. Where is Forest spawn? Forest has a great spawn for a pick at B. Let's see if he goes lower, or if he actually goes for that pick. He can go for the pick at an aggressive player playing short, but nobody's been doing that. He's going for it. Oh, just misses it. Actually takes him down to 50 health. Messed up a little bit there. And it will get smoked off to delay. All right, the round now commences. Nate stack out middle. That was in case they were boosted up to watch Xbox, which they were not. It's a smart nade stack to do, considering how many times Envious has done that. Smith's watching short with the arm. T's still at mill. They have a crossfire now. Happy moving back in case they push short. Terrace holding the angle. Nobody peeking. Both teams still playing very cautious, and they're going to be pushing at short A. So let's watch this from the entry fragger's point of view. This is, this is the life of an entry fragger here. Freiburg charging into the site, and he's dead. All right. Terrace trying to take some position here. It's not going to happen. They're going to be forced to fall back. We see a rotate, though. Shock's now going back to mid. Oh, only one player inside of B, and they're moving back to short, trying to double fake him. Lurk player, NBK there, sneaks around the back, takes him down. Still moving in from behind. Forrest is watching it. Nice pick by NBK. That was a great headshot. Envious clean that up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It is now tied 28 to 28. It's all tied up. 
All right, what do you do in this situation? They've pretty much thrown everything they prepared at each other over and over again. They know exactly how each other is playing. They're doing the same things every single round. What gives you that little bit of an extra edge to finally win this thing? These two teams are very evenly matched, and this series has definitely shown that. They have playstyles that counter each other. This is the unstoppable force meeting the immovable object. The immovable object being envious and the unstoppable force being ninjas in pajamas. We're, we're witnessing what happens, and it is an eternity of conflict. That sounded almost Taoist. All right. We hear a Molotov coming in there. No one's actually ever played that corner in this game. So it's interesting that they keep Molotoving it. And there's another Molotov now. Kiyoshima gets picked trying to push into B. This might be the opening that the terrorists need to finally push into bombsite B. And they're going to take it. Forest will get into the site, checking it, making sure it's clear. It is clear. Shock's moving back in. Nice spray down. T's have it. There's Happy. Freiburg tries to take him down through that door. Get right trades himself, but that's actually going to be a great trade because it'll allow the bomb to get planted here. We have one player coming up lower. Here's Forest. Oh, jumps. That was the wrong time to jump. Exist now going to watch the tunnels. And we can peek in it. Flash goes on. Exist in a great position to mow him down. One player tunnel. One player from CT spawn. Oh, and they're going to double up there. That's nice. And now move back and work on this player. Actually, no. We see Freiburg is just going to play the bomb. That's a smart play right now. going to flash out. That flash actually will hit his own teammate there. A little bit of sloppiness. That's okay. All they really want to do is win this, and they're, they're taking their time to do it. Now they just have to play the bomb. Bomb is definitely going to go off. And Freiburg even moves in to get the kill before exiting the site. Ninjas in Pajamas knew they had a win there. As soon as they put it into a position where Freiburg was in the tunnels and they were all they were both trying to retake it uh, from this position where they can only come through door and the window. When you have the bomb planted right here, which is the standard plant, you can watch that really easily from the tunnels. So they knew they had won that. They, Freiburg didn't have to peek at all. And peeking actually may have jeopardized their win. So don't think of it as like baiting your teammate. Ooh, nice spot from NBK. Well, Exist will immediately mow him down for that. You don't normally see players run up there and across when the smokes go down like that. One player still left here at long. Get right crosses over to the blue. And, oh, they don't even know. They have no idea that Happy's been sitting up here. Exist coming back. Is he pit? Oh, nice flick shot to take him down. Now puts it into a two versus two. Exist and Alu. Exist now at three frags right now. Alu, nine health. Both players very low. There they go. They got the bomb. Should be able to move over and plant it. Where are they sending Shocks? Shocks is going to go around at long A. Exist is going to watch that. Oh, Kyoshima. He's taken down to 69 health now. Wants to push it. Takes down Alu. It's all up to Exist. Exist has to get an ace here to win this thing. Or just play the bomb after picking off Shocks. Because Shocks is not paying attention. Now it's up to Kyoshima. One versus one against Exist. He's going to have to fake that bomb and go for this kill. This is a very difficult shot to hit. Ooh, is he going to see him? And takes him down. That's an ace from Exist. Let's get an owl vision. Match point now for the Ninjas in Pajamas as they move into round number 59. That's pretty much two games right there. Envious has got to hold it off. Envious is going to try to win two in a row here to push it into, dare I say it, a fourth overtime. Ninjas in Pajamas being very cautious right now. Haven't even taken mid control. Already 125 um, 1 minute 25 seconds. Kyoshima holding the angle here at B. No smoke down. They're gonna wait. NBK has already thrown his smoke at long A. Now, the timer ticking down like this is only gonna favor Envious. Because he'll be able to hold off B now until the end of the game by rotating players properly. 
so this is really great for them. There's the smoke finally going down. They know the timer. One minute left. Ninjas in Pajamas is going to try for an A split, though. Look at the angles that Envious is holding. They're out in the open, just kind of like watching them. Smoke will go down to try to allow his player to get by. That is get right. Get right does get by and does not get the pick. We do have a player at Goose. That's going to be Smiths holding this off with the off. T's going to push in. Misses the shot. Gets the second. Actually, that was Happy who got it. Happy taking two kills. Allen moves in from the other side and picks him off with a peek off. One versus three right now, and it looks like Envious is going to take this. Alu pushing forward. We got one player moving up short. Bomb is down at short right now. One player on the site, and he takes him. And we will now move into round number 60. Match point for the Ninjas in Pajamas is if Envious can win this, it will push it into a fourth overtime. And my vocal cords will officially be dead. All right, Alu going to watch middle right now. Everybody on the Ninjas in Pajamas has a 40 bomb. Oh, no, except for Freiburg. All right. 2-1-2 two, two for Envious. Two players stacked B, one mid, two at long. Continuing with that setup. It's been working out well for both teams. And Freiburg getting up on Xbox. Getting ready to check short. Get right at long A. Flash himself in. Making sure nobody's around the corner. Forrest still playing here. Inside of the tunnels. Another smoke going down. Freiburg gonna peek here at short for a little bit. Same setup, standard setup from Ninjas in Pajamas. And now they're gonna push at short. This has been the same thing we've seen over and over again. It continues. Smoke gonna block off CT spawn. Freiburg could totally jump over the side here. This is a situation where they send Freiburg over the side. Bomb is rotated over to B. I want to see it happen. Happy watching it close. Ooh, he gets picked. Double picks going down there. Looks like we're going to see a fourth overtime now. Forrest moving into the side. Sees the player close. Gets taken down. Now a two versus four. Alu gets taken down, and it is all up to exist. One versus four. 17 seconds left. No reason to save. Picks one, picks two, and gets taken down. That will push us, I'm sorry to say it, into a fourth overtime. This game never ends. Here we are in the first round of the fourth overtime of Team Envious versus the Ninjas in Pajamas on Dust 2, game two of a best of three series. And here is the Xbox smoke from Exist. We know that now. Gonna block Happy off. Can't watch that. Envious. Oh, look at this. They're moving. No, they're not. Still doing the 2 1 2. Very standard. Oh, there's the pick. Get right gets NBK moving out at long A. That's an opening. See Smith's cross. Or did he? No, he was completely blind there. So he does not have intel of the one player at long. Smoke gonna clear at B pretty soon. T's have mid control. Killed one player, waiting for Envious to spread themselves out across the map. Kyoshima moving back to mid. Gonna try and peek it here. That flash tells him, okay, we got one player watching mid, probably only one in B. That may be the opening we need. Sees him cross. Now is the time to push B. Instead, they're gonna chill. 45 seconds left. Maybe try to get another pick. Smith's pushed up close here. Get right, heard him grab the gun. Knows he has an M4 now, instead of an off. Waiting. Look at this, rotate. Envious is like, all right, ninjas in pajamas, we know you like to push out. And Freiburg goes over the top. Gets into CT spawn. Shocks kills him, but it is too late. T's now pushing out into the site. There's nobody here. Knock, knock, nobody's home. Two versus three for the retake right now. But they are way out of position. Here comes Shocks. Happy as well. Doesn't look like they're gonna peek him. Gonna wait for these smokes to clear and then push in. One player back plat, one in sight, one car. Oh, call outs. Oh, Shocks gets picked. It's all up to Happy. Back plat still watching into the tunnels. <laughs> Goes for the pick through the box. Not gonna happen. Just now going for exits, it seems. 
Well, gets the flick shot on exist. And we'll fall back and survive. I'm going after Forrest as well. And kills another one. All this, of course, accomplishes nothing. And there it is. Another point here for the ninjas in pajamas who take the first point. Take the lead. It is not all tied up anymore. All right, Alley with the op. Positioning to either pick at long or watch mid. Or just chill. He's having a good time. He's playing Counter-Strike. Yeah. Instead, he's going to... There he goes. Now picking at middle. Oh, here we go. MBK charging down short A. He's got players at lower, and he will get picked. Shock's pushing through. Envious has had enough of this game. They're starting to play a little bit more aggressively. Starting to play a little bit more like themselves. They've been playing like generic team number three so far in this match. Here's Exist trying to peek at Shox. Shox having fun with that pillar. Force and Exist back with the Molotov, giving them control of the tunnels. And it looks like they're going to push long. We have one player in the pit. Oh no, that's not in the pit. That's up on top of this thing. You don't expect to ever see a player here, so it's always kind of a shock. Shocks. Happy going to watch that short falling down. Let's see if he, oh, Smiths make this work. No, he drops down. Molotov trying to force him out. Those players were flashed, but he just misses it. Freiburg will get the kill. They're pushing into the bomb site now. Exist gets taken down. Two versus three. Alu will be able to plant that bomb. Freiburg watching his back. One player at CT. That is Kyoshima trying to go for some Kuklis. And there are the final kills. Freiburg and Alu pick it up. It is going to be 32 to 30 now. Ninjas in Pajamas, of course, needs 36 points to win. But it seems like Envious is finally starting to fall apart here. They just lost two in a row. Their money is low. Is it possible that Ninjas in Pajamas could actually grab the economic momentum here in the overtime with these settings? It is possible, but... Envious will be able to buy next round. Alu picks off Happy through middle. That is a very good pick. Envious is very B-heavy right now. A is open. Nobody is watching short. They see the player cross. Now is the time to push short A. Do they know it? Seems like that would be a no. Envious is starting to coin flip a little bit here. I mean, we know Ninjas in Pajamas saw the player cross from CT. They're still playing it a little, little safe here. Making sure. Get right, gonna push out at long A. CT's now rotating back, but I think it is too late. Oh, there's the kill. Nice shot by Smiths. Takes another one down. Almost gets the triple. Alu had a triple. Now two versus two. Anyone's game. Bomb is down. He got dropped and sound is out of the pit. That is a worst case scenario right now for the terrorists. 40 seconds left. It's plenty of time. Forrest grabs himself an off while Get Right sneaks around behind the back. Kyoshima is waiting for him, though. So we have Forrest now inside of the site, trying to pick these players instead of going for that bomb just yet. 28 seconds. Gonna wait for Get Right to get that kill. Get Right now. Gonna peek it. Pushing out. Kyoshima waiting. 20 seconds left. They need to push in now. Forrest is going to smoke it. That's going to pop into the site. He will still be able to see it. Nice pick. Get the bomb and can go plant that. 10 seconds left and he will get the plant. Now let me show you what I mean by that smoke. He can still see it and still watch the bomb from over here inside of the site. It lands on the slope and kind of pushes down a little bit. One versus two now for the retake. This will give Ninjas in Pajamas a huge lead if they can pick off Kyoshima. Ooh, nice attempt at a flick shot there. 11 rounds left in this weapon. And picks off Get Right, puts it into a one versus one. Forrest watching it from long A. Will he be able to defuse this bomb? They got the bomb planted in a good position. Forrest gonna watch it. Kyoshima waiting for him. Oh, sees the player. Wait for the defuse. Gotta peek it. You have to peek it, Forrest. And Forrest wins it. Kyoshima will go down. Ninjas in pajamas puts themselves up now by three points. They are doing a great job so far. Three points right off the bat. Envy is starting to fall apart. Will be able to buy in this round, but look at this. If Envious loses this, they're going to have to do a force buy with the blue shell money on the next round for losing four in a row. Important round for Envious right now. They're going to boost up Happy. He's going to go for the pick. They haven't done this yet. They're starting to switch up their play. 
Sees Fry. Oh, Freiburg saw that. Freiburg could jump up Xbox right now. That's kind of the wrong call, though, because he's putting himself out there. Instead, he's going to flash up. Not going to get him. And Happy gets the pick. Nice pick right there. They got the boost going on here. Kyoshima watching Xbox. Waiting for him to jump up. It's not going to happen. Assist that middle. He's trying to spray the player down. We see that one player rotate back. They had three mid stacked. They rotate one back to B to watch it. Terra is still moving around the map. Bringing that bomb over to top mid. Could go long with that. Alu trying to pick them at long A. Just kind of shooting through the door. Smoke goes down. Not going to block him off just yet. Kyoshima. That, that flash was to block off. Short. Sees the gun sticking out. Gets the kill. This looks great for Envious. And they really need this right now to stay in this game. Oh, look at this. Smith's at close range. Picks off uh, Forest. Now just two players left. Two versus five. And it looks like they're going to pick up their first round here. In the fourth overtime. 30 seconds left. Not even able to kill the five player. That's a five to zero right there. And Envious will be able to buy in the next round. They have that money. They got all the guns that they saved. It is the last round of the first half. An auto sniper for Forrest. He's just going to spam through the door now as those players try to cross. Then drop this and pick up his AK. Oh, he takes out Smiths with that. Oh my goodness, what a disaster for Envious. To lose a player like that is not good. That should not have happened. Get right, they know that he's ahead. He's gonna push it though. Give you know, give his life for the cause, I guess. Kind of a pointless push, and ninjas in pajamas just threw away their advantage. Shock's close that middle. Smokes him off. He's gonna have to fall back a little bit if he wants to see Xbox. Oh, he could jump up and still see it. Flashing over. T's have mid. Creeping around. Shox is close. Gonna smoke mid to B right here. And Shox picks off Alu, who's trying to rotate. Forrest still there at middle. Bomb is down up on short. Three versus four. Terrace are behind now. And what looked like it was gonna be an easy win. Two picks have changed that quite dramatically. NBK up here close at short. With an M4 gets picked. That was an important pick. We see Kyoshima trying to sneak up behind him here at short. And they're going to just get away. However, it's Exist. One versus three. Good good pickups. Gets a double headshot there. Happy and shocks. Couldn't have gone better. Now just Kyoshima left. One versus one. Needs to plant safe. Plants behind the box. Going to fake it. Knows that Kyoshima's pushing up. And Exist takes the final headshot. That's going to give Ninjas in Pajamas 34 points now. Moving into the next half of the fourth overtime. Very nice play from Exist. That is what the Ninjas in Pajamas finally needed to get ahead in this game. And that is some exceptional plays from individual players. Exist single-handedly won that round. That was excellent. Excellent work. Here they go now. Moving into the second half of the fourth overtime. See the players watching down middle. Won't even get that intel. Ooh, look at this boost. Alu trying to see him there. Does not get the pick and will fall back, so we're going to reshuffle. Forrest moving up close. Going to try to see them at Xbox here. Yoshima watching it. Will they push at short A? Alu is waiting for them. Oh, they're getting back into the... Are they going to get back into the boost? No, they are not. Smoke is cleared. Two players on short. All of the terrorists have middle right now. Forrest tries to get, finally gets his pick. Goes for Kyoshima, but he's a little bit high on that. That trade is going to favor Team Envious. As they now decide to push short A. Get right waiting for him, though. Oh, nice kill by Alu. Kills that player bunny hopping there. It allows Exist to move into the tunnels. Now Envious really has nowhere to rotate back to. They have to push it. Oh, they can go right out middle. And go to B. Happy pushed out at short. Does get the kill. There's a trade. Now puts it into a two versus two. Exist falls back into B. And he's going to go CT to A. That's something we rarely see. Here's Freiburg to hold him up. And he gets the kill because you ju you're just not expecting that. And here's Exist once again. Put into the clutch situation. One versus two right now. An attempt to knock Envious out of this game and push this into a game number three. To continue this setup. 
Going for some Kuklis. Not gonna get it. Kiyoshima with the counter Kukli. And there it is. 32 to 34 right now. Envious is back in this game. Seemed like ninjas in pajamas. We're gonna start running away with that to end it. Two ops now bought up for Envious on the T side. One op for the CT side. Ninjas in pajamas. That is Alan. Watching down middle to see what's going on. Players do get across unscathed. Alu staying here. Good nade. Gets shocks down to 65 health. Well timed. T's all over at middle right now. That's the only place they want to be. Are going to push at short A once again. There's a delay flash from Git right to prevent them from pushing just a little bit longer. 1 minute 15 seconds. Plenty of time left. And they're just going to push right out here. With one player at long. Yoshima moves into elevator there. Shocks moves in from behind. Team Envious has the side right now. Freiburg trying to jump through that smoke. He knows he's touching the guy through. Picks him off. Now a three versus four. Good good chance for a retake here by Ninjas in Pajamas. But they got to move now. They got to make this happen. Players all up on short. CT's moving into the site. Trying to get the entries. Here is Alu. Forced to pull out the pistol. Gets the kill. Freiburg is still up. And one versus one against Happy. Happy down low. Both players at just a little bit of health left. And the nade takes them down. And Envious will stay in this game. 33 points right now. That is two points in a row here. Oh, look. It doesn't even show the rounds anymore. Two points in a row for Envious, or for Envious here on this half. Showing that they... Know what's going on with T-Side. This, again, is the unstoppable force. Against the immovable object. Three players stack and long from Ninjas in Pajamas, and they're going to rotate that player back. Envy is setting up at mid. All right, early game complete. Let's get into some Counter-Strike here. I'm going to get right and watching middle. Terrace look like they want to push at short. And here's Allen waiting for them. With the off. They're really not in a position to hold this off. Still doing the 2 1 2. And of course, the weakness to the 2 1 2 is a short push. Oh, one player jumped down. Get right, gonna try to move in from behind him. We'll get the trade. And there's a kill from Allen. Gets another one into the site. Now just Kyoshima left, one versus four. And gets taken down immediately by Alu. That's a three frag for Alu. And here we are, folks. Match point. Two rounds to finally end this game. It is round number 69. Oh, goodness. And here they go. Standard early game going down. Using a nade to cross. Two players opping down mid. Players move into B tunnels and move lower to take control of the map. Envious has full control. They're watching B for a push. They're watching long. They're watching mid. Well, Shocks gets hit through the door there. Alu takes him down to 9 health. They're going to be pushing at short A. Here's Get Right to watch it. Throwing a flash. Ninjas in pajamas continue to do the 2 1 2. And this is weak to a short push. So let's see if Envious decides to keep just pushing short. And here they go. The flashes are out. Get Right is 100% flashed throughout that entire bit. Instead, they decide to move out middle right now. Oh, just missed that shot on Alu. Alu's making it happen, holding the fort here. T's trying to push into the site. Exist at a close range position, allowing them to kind of sneak by. NVK thought he checked the corner, but he did not. Good mow down. This is it. Just shocks left. One versus three. Could we finally be seeing the end? And we will. Thank you, folks, very much for watching the longest game of Counter-Strike that I have ever seen. That was longer than just a full best of three series, and it was a single game. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer.
want to get off Mr. Warhol's wild cast. <laughs>